spray in Valencia for the fire and as you can see it's really noisy and really lively. We're actually in one of the quieter parts, not where the, the main crowds are. The fires, that's one of the fires there which is like a big papier-mâché statue and they're going to be setting fire to that very soon. First, they'll set fire to the little one which is here. And that's what everybody's waiting for. All of these people with the red coats on are the people that have helped to build them. And the fireworks are going crazy. There's Andy sat there. We've actually got a cocktail called Agua de Valencia. Really good. Which is made out of orange juice, gin, gin vodka. vodka and carba. So it's like a pumped up Bellini. Is it a Bellini? No. Not a mojito, the other one. Mimosa. Mimosa, a pumped up mimosa, yeah. So we're just waiting now for that bad boy there to be set now, on fire. I can't tell at the minute, guys, if we've got the two mics running, one on with Helen, I'll take you around to have a look one at with it. me. What's, what's that? I'm just saying, because you can't hear this, I've got both mics running. Right, okay. It's external, so they should be able to. Oh, hello. Uh, hi, guys. If you're watching, tell us where you're watching from. Give us a hi. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget. And it is crazy here. I'm just saying, this is actually not the busy part. Oh, we're right in the we, sticks. We, we've, we've come to a really quiet part because, believe it or not, it's it's like Bedlam here in Valencia at the moment. In the main town hall square, when they let the fireworks off yesterday, there were 200,000 people. We don't want to be in that crowd. It's just too much. I'm going to take you around to show you the the statue that's going to be burning later and I think you'll agree with me it's an absolute shame that they burn these things So this is the one that we're going to watch being burnt later on and I think they're going to set it on fire at around about 10 o'clock and what they'll do is they'll, although I can't see them here, they'll, they'll set some fireworks off that actually come into the statue and set it on fire but look at the detail in these, they're absolutely fantastic. Now the fireworks that they set off, they call them the mascaletas and they've been going off constantly since the 1st of March. This morning at eight, well, to start with yesterday, people were out partying until seven o'clock this morning. So that's the little one that they're gonna that they're gonna burn first. You can see it just there. So last night there were people were partying hard till about seven o'clock this morning, and then at eight o'clock this morning they've got the fireworks going and the processions going with the bands and the drums and it's just non-stop it's absolutely crazy i've got to say when it comes to parties and fiestas it's difficult to beat the spanish people and most of these statues have got some sort of significance about things that are happening in the news i don't really know what this one is but you can see it's absolutely fantastic and this is a smaller one some of them are absolutely enormous, absolutely enormous. And in another couple of hours, that is going to be gone. What a shame, but what a spectacular. They're getting ready to set that one on fire. That one should be being set on fire in about 10 minutes. In fact, if we stay here, we might see that one being set on fire. I'm sort of caught in a bit of a, a bit of a fence there. You can see that they're starting to get the, the fireworks attached to it there. Now, when we came to watch it last year, they'd actually got a fire engine or a couple of fire engines on standby because the one that we watched burning was enormous and really close to buildings. I can't actually see any fire engines here to tonight.
every time there's a stat that the, these statues are all over Valencia so you're walking around the streets and you keep stumbling upon them and every time you see a big one there's also a, a small one and all of them will be burnt so after tonight there will be none of this left there is a competition and each one of these is entered into a competition and the one that wins has a portion saved which goes into the museum but I mean only a portion like perhaps that little bit there or something like that but the rest of it will be burnt let's see if I can see around this side of this one I don't know if Andy's speaking to you on the other speakers or not because I'm not anywhere near Andy and I can't hear what he's saying. We've seen some absolutely fantastic ones. They've, they've just thrown me out of there. So I'm, I'm not in there anymore, obviously, because I think they're just about to set fire to that one over there very shortly. winding around that one now are fireworks on a string because I don't know if you can see but up here there is a string of fireworks and what they'll do is they'll light the fireworks at this end well I can't see my finger here at this end here and that will go the fire will go along and set the um, the statue on fire so this is going to be at eight o'clock and the big one will be at 10 o'clock. So you guys might see this one at eight o'clock live, but then will not be online anymore. Or will not be live anymore. Now they say it's going to be set off at eight o'clock, but this is Spain, so it might be a little bit later than eight o'clock. Because if any of you have been here, you all know that Spanish people are not the best timekeepers and are, no offence to any Spanish people there. But the fireworks that you can hear, it's been like that constantly since we got here yesterday morning. And you can see all the crowds of people here just waiting. waiting for them to set it on fire. Now if we had been if we had been in the centre of Valencia, well we are in the centre of Valencia but we're a little bit out, if we'd have been in the dead centre of Valencia, we would get nowhere near the front to actually film anything because there are that many people here, it's impossible. We came we came to watch the fires last year and I would say it's at least four times busier than it was last year, perhaps more than that. I've just seen Andy's put, all I can smell is gunpowder. I've got a cold, so I can't smell anything. Which might be a good thing. Now, last year when we watched this, the next morning, our clothes absolutely stunk of fire and smoke. But what a spectacle. You can see there, one of the young girls in traditional dress. And it's been really, really hot this weekend. So those girls that have been walking around in traditional dress like that, they must be absolutely roasting. But everywhere that you walk at the moment, there are just fireworks banging and burning and everybody's really excited and having a party and there's music and dancing. So 
so when they set fire to this one this is just going to be a small example but they build these they're called fires and ninyots the fires are made up of ninyots which are the the actual figures that make up the big sculpture they build them on the roads and they burn them on the roads and as we've been walking around this weekend with people we've seen people that have been building fires on the roads and cooking meat on the roads and building fires on the road and cooking paellas on the road tomorrow morning after all this is over and bear in mind that there must be at least a hundred of these things all the way around valencia tomorrow morning there'll not be any sign of any of them because they'll all be burnt and the town hall will have been round and cleaned up and you'll not see any sign of them at all even the tarmacs you can't see it on the tarmac it's amazing this guy here taking photographs for for memories because very soon that is just going to be a memory it'll be gone If any of you get a chance to come to Valencia though and visit the fires, 100% do it. There are different bus trips that do trips, um, that do visits here to see the fires. Euro Tour Guide are one of them. Now, this event is all the way through the beginning of March, but they always, always do the burning on March the 19th, which here in Spain is Father's Day. So regardless of what day March the 19th falls on, that is the day that they're gonna burn the fires. Um, and it's a fiesta here in Spain anyway, so nobody should be at work on the, although it's a Sunday this year, you know, whatever day it falls on, you're not going to be at work, so it's definitely worth visiting. And maybe doing, maybe doing one of the bus trips would be a good idea. We've, we've been twice to the fires and we've driven both times, but to be quite honest, driving here in Valencia is an absolute nightmare. And even worse than driving was finding a parking space this time because the city is so so busy we pre-booked our um, parking space in a car park through a company called Saba but even getting to the parking was a was a nightmare because a lot of the roads are blocked off because there are that many people wandering about they're, they're making it pedestrians only and when you're walking around the city during this event you see how they've got the, the they've got the street food wagon there that one's selling uh, chocolate and churros. There are lots and lots of street food vendors selling all sorts of different things. So you can get your churros, your chocolates, but you can also get burgers and pizza and kebab and lots and lots of different options on street food. So you don't have to spend a fortune. I mean, we, we went out for a meal last night, which we won't put in our vlog because it weren't the best meal. Um, and then we've been this afternoon because we didn't want to go for a meal tonight because then we'd miss the fires being burnt. So we went for, for lunch this afternoon or sort of two, between two and three o'clock to a Vietnamese place, which were really, really nice. So if you want to know more about that, let us know and we'll tell you. But there are, if, if you want to eat somewhere nice during fires, it's best to pre-book because it's so busy. I think I'm in an exclusive area here. They seem to have blocked us in. I don't know if Andy can actually talk while we're not next to each other because he's got a microphone on as well so I don't know if you'll hear him if he speaks maybe you can tell me I can see comments coming up so can, can you talk and people hear you Andy I don't know perhaps you can take over a bit of the talking because my voice has gone a bit croaky the music reminds me of being at Disney World actually it's the same sort of music you get in places like that So this map you have actually maybe around that map. 
Also, if you come to Valencia for the fires, there's actually an app that you can download. Oh, I don't know if you can hear me or not because it's so noisy. Uh, there's an app the that you can download. Um, this year it's called Fires 2023, obviously. Next year will be different. And it shows you a map of where all of the different fires are located. It tells you the ones that have won prizes. It gives you a sort of an itinerary of um, the times that things are going to be happening. So, so you can look on there to see when they're going to be letting the fireworks off, uh, when they're going to be having processions, because also, during this fiesta, the girls that you've seen in the, in the traditional Spanish dress, they all take flower offerings to the Virgin, Mary I'm assuming, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, to the, to the Vatican Cathedral. The main cathedral here in, in Valencia, around the back is a square, and they take the flower offerings there, so they're, they're all here, and it gives you the itinerary to tell you when they're going to be doing the processions, when they're going to be making the, the offers of flowers, when they're going to be releasing the fireworks, I don't know if it's any better now or when they're going to be burning sure. the fires. So that's quite a handy app to download if you're interested in visiting this spectacular. the event tonight obviously i've just told you that all the all of the the statues will be gone tomorrow there is a museum a fire museum you can go to the fire museum and look at the, the little sections of the fires that have been saved going years gone back and also in the square behind the cathedral the flowers will still be there so you can still look at the flowers because that's beautiful they actually there's like a big statue of the Virgin, I think it's the Virgin Mary, but I might be wrong. There's a big statue of the Virgin and a dress is made out of flowers. And then you can see all of the flower offerings that these um, different groups have made that are all there in the square. But like I said before, nobody, nobody does fiestas like the Spanish people. Andy, why have you muted your mic? You could be joining in. I could be forgetting some vital information that you could be adding. So remember, when this one goes up in flames, this is only a tiny one compared to some of them. Some of them are as big as the buildings that they stand beside, and also very, very close to those buildings. For those of you that are watching from the UK, it would never pass health and safety in a million years. But then, that's why we don't have fun in UK anymore. got a great location here I think I'm going to be um, a bit worried about moving from here when they want to set fire to the big statue because look at this view I've got of it here I don't even want to go and get my drink I don't want to lose this view we were really lucky last year we got stood right next to it probably that's why we absolutely stunk a smoke afterwards and we were covered in ash and also the fire engines that were there were spraying water on it so that it didn't spread anywhere else. And I don't think it was the cleanest water. We didn't smell great afterwards. Francesca, yeah, we're waiting for it to light up. Only that small one. We're waiting for the small one to light up in a few minutes. Now the fires, the lights have gone out. So that's, that means it's imminent. When, when they're going to set it on fire, they turn the, fire, the lights out. Remember, this is a small one. And if I'm staying here, you've got to bring my uh, Agua de Valencia for me to have a sit because my, my voice is going. 
So get ready. Here it goes. And you'll be amazed how quickly it actually burns. I can feel the heat off of it already. Last year when we watched it, we actually missed the small one being burnt. We got there after the event, but we watched the big one. But get ready, it's going to go up any minute. absolutely covered in fireworks I look like I've got a really bad case of dandruff get ready here's the main event coming in a minute or oh, not quite the main event but just look at me I'm covered in bits of fireworks
you can see the flame there. I don't know if they're going to be lighting the, the one that goes to the actual fire to set it on, on fire. It's one of the young girls in the traditional Spanish dress that's going to be doing it. It's a little bit blurred there because my phone's actually trying to focus on this fence. There it goes. What a shame. And that's just how the big one will go later. And then we've got another hour until they light the big one, which will be a big spectacle. When we were watching last year, they put the fire, they did, did the fireworks like that. And then there were guys with big bottles of petrol, throwing petrol on it to set it on fire. Like I said, health and safety, there is no such thing here in Spain. And when it's finished burning, there will be no sign of it ever being there at all. Feel the heat off of it actually. It's nearly gone already. But it's only made of papier-mâché, so that's why they burn so easily. But the amount of talent that goes into these statues, it's really sad, actually, to see them going up in flames like that. Andy, can't you bring our drinks over here in my bag so that, we don't have to, so that I don't have to move? I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. Just a little bit of taste, a little taste of the fires here in Valencia this year. And maybe it might um, be something that you all fancy doing yourself next year or the year after, who knows? It's definitely worth doing at least once in your lifetime. It's an experience that you'll never have anywhere else on earth. So that's it guys, that's it done, I'm going to, uh, oh I've got some, hello, hello. hola, hello. <laughs> got some people there in the background, thanks for watching everybody, I'm going to go now, just a bit of this um, soot off of me and if you want to watch the big one burning you'll have to watch it when we actually put the video out later on, maybe next week or the week after, thanks a lot for watching everybody and bye from me. Bye. Bye.